my typical Monday as a small business owner and mom. So first we take the kids to school, then we're off to Lowe's to buy wood and supplies for the week. We head straight to the appearance wood section where the wood is pretty much already finished and each piece usually has really beautiful wood grain to them. So over on this end is the bigger boards are usually 6 foot to 8 foot boards and down below is usually the 3 foot to 4 foot boards. So that's usually where I grab my welcome sign boards from. And also the wood rounds, they also have a variety of sizes for this as well from 18 inches to 14 inches to 24 inches. So next I'm heading over to the stain. And you guys, these prices are so crazy now. I remember when these cans were just $10, now they're $14.48 a piece. And of course, just picking up a few nails and other things that we need to complete our orders with. So now we're off to the checkout line, and I would say we have mastered packing our Jeep with wood. And of course we have to get breakfast, so we stop by Chick-fil-A. Me and my husband don't really get any date time out, so this is like our date time every Monday. So now it's just a matter of prepping all the wood, so I have to tear off all this plastic. It is kind of a pain, but I do appreciate that they put this plastic over the signs, because it does protect them from getting scratched up and damaged. So now I just gotta cut these boards down. These were six foot boards, and I'm cutting them down into 18 inch boards. So that's the great thing about buying the bigger boards, is that you can get a lot more bang for your buck this way. So once I have them all cut down, then I move on to sanding. And usually they're already pretty smooth, so I don't have to do a whole lot of work on them. I just go over each board with a 120 grit sandpaper, and I just go along with the grain. And I do that for every single sign. And while I was sanding, this is what my little dog was doing. He's just sitting in this, like, broke down chair we have outside. <laughs> he just loves to be really close to us at all times. So we usually spend our Monday going to Lowe's and then coming back home, cutting up all the signs and staining everything. We literally get everything prepared for the entire week on Monday. So I usually have at least an hour of downtime that I can work on other things that I need to get done. Unless it's like a super crazy heavy week, then of course we have to kind of divide it out a little more than that. But we try our best to get everything done on Monday and then we just ship the rest of the week. And then it's time to go pick up the kids. So today I'm bringing Zeus with me. He is so happy to see them. So once we're back at home, I do have to head out to the shed one more time to finish up anything that we may have not finished. And then it's homework time with my boys. And once all the homework's done, it's time to chill. We have a few hours of downtime before bedtime. And here's a little story time with my youngest. So once my kids are tucked in, it's time for me to get back to work. Just prepping orders for tomorrow by cutting vinyl and printing labels. So that is my very busy Monday as a mom and small business owner. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments if you did. And thank you so much for watching.